Okay, take it slow. Somebody call Bonnie because I'm getting scared. There we go. Put it in four wheel drive. It was about to go. Shut up, Rams. Oh! So before we get into the actual installation of the axles, I want to take one moment and give a shout out to Raymond Cohn, Patrick Skurdy, and Jimmy Monroe from the Northeast Ohio Dukes, uh, also known as Stunt Life. A lot of you guys follow them on Facebook as well. They came out on a Saturday on a stinking hot day and spent hours with me to reinstall these axles, and I absolutely could not have done it without them. So do me a favor, check out their Facebook page. There's a link in the description below. Let's head over here. We'll show you the work we've done on it so far um, since our last video. And you can see here that the frame has been um, cleaned up quite a bit. We've got the rear frame extensions. We got those welded on. We got all the holes drilled out and we've got the um, suspension, the spring suspension pieces put back on. Now, we still have to do another finish coat on all of this. So um, basically what we wanted to do is we, we stripped it and we wanted to get it protected so it wouldn't rust. So we still have one more coat to do on that, but um, the clock was ticking on us getting the uh, axles back in. We have to get them back in and get them out of the yard. So um, we're gonna get the axles reinstalled and then we're gonna kind of work around it to finish off the rest of the frame. So um, we had our guy come in, he drilled all of the original holes out for the spring suspension, all six of these, six of those, four of those back there. And this um, suspension is a donor suspension because if you remember, we had an air ride suspension on the truck originally, um, well, not originally, when it was on the show, it had spring suspension and subsequent owners put the air ride on it. Now we're reverting it back to the spring suspension. So this is all from a donor truck from um, our friend Danny Nassif. So we got all of the parts uh, cleaned. We've got all new uh, rubber mounts, uh, all new bolts, everything is all ready to go. We got the springs cleaned up, reinstalled. Uh, <clears throat> so we're almost ready to get the axles back in. So as you can see yesterday, I took a chain and a tow strap here. There's a tow strap underneath the truck and I hooked them up to my truck and I pulled them cause they were, they had been back in the woods a little bit. So I pulled them up to get them ready to install, but I need, it's just, they're just too massive and too heavy for me to um, install by myself. So I've recruited some friends to help. So um, tomorrow we're gonna get these, we gotta get the frame um, jacked up about nine more inches to clear so the axles can clear and we'll get the first axle brought in and set under this first spring and we'll get that all bolted down and then we'll get the second axle wheeled in and bolted in under here. Now it's not going to be ready to um, drive yet because since we relocated the uh, axles to their original location, the drive shaft now doesn't fit. So we have to take the drive shaft and get it lengthened. So there's still some work to do. All of the air lines are gonna need rerun. But um, as you can see, we did get the original air tanks back reinstalled where they were. If you remember, whenever we got this truck, the air tanks were hanging right here. 
there were two the two original air tanks were hanging right here and they moved them there because the air ride suspension didn't allow them to stay in their original location so um, now because this is all reverted back to the way it was we drilled out the original air tank mounting strap holes and we got these just kind of temporarily rigged up they're not bolted in but we just wanted to rig it all up make sure everything fit we'll probably take them back out again clean them up we have to change some of the fittings and if, and like i said all of the airlines need replaced so it's made some great progress and if you come around here i'll show you the tail lights so we got this whole bracket this is all the original bracket and the original tail lights um, all of the connectors were corroded, so we rewired, we took it all apart, sandblasted everything, repainted it. We got all new connectors, we got it all rewired, so it's ready to go. We decided to install a plug here, so um, it would be easy to, you know, if we ever have to unplug it and remove it, as opposed to the way it was before where it was just kind of hardwired in. So, um, yeah, so we're ready to get the axles reinstalled. So with that, let's get going. Roll it back. Oh, you gotta lift up. Okay. Hurry up. Get it in there. Okay. All right. All right. Are you ready? All right. Hold that. Hey, hold on. Maybe we don't even need the truck. We might be able to just roll it. Jimmy, go up. Yeah. Alright, let me go now. Okay. Just like a zero turn. Right. I got it. Go, 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 Jimmy. Okay. Oh, that was a... <laughs> oh, that scared me. That was a joke. That scared the hell out of me. I thought it was over. Dude, we're, we're getting there. But this, hang on, hang on, hang on. Spud bar, you got this bracket over here. Uh, yeah. And right. you're going to hit right here. You need to come in a little bit. You can't. I'm, I'm Joe, go ahead and get in your truck and let's put some tension on this uh, chain. All right. What do you want me to do about this? Just hold on. Hold on for a minute. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, can we can we uh, let go of that and the chain hold that up? I think it would. You want to pull it out? Mm, I don't know. This is going to fall down. Well, that's what I'm saying. The chain should hold hold that up. I think. Can I pull it out? Yeah, do you want to put a uh, no, so thing is, under there? I think it's going to go down. Great. Push down further. Yeah. Here, wait, wait, wait. Why don't we wedge this wood block under there? Yep. All right, let go. That'll work. Okay, there we go. Yeah, good idea. Now this chain theoretically should hold the the nose from from digging in. Right. So um, put some more tension on, on the yep. chain, Joe. Well, hang on. If we got if we can get that spud bar in here on the other side of this beam, we can move. To, we could roll so it we right get, up. So we get caught here. Yeah. Yeah. So we can do that. Go Let's ahead. Let's get the spud bar. It's on that mount. It's going to pull the truck with mount. Okay. Okay. Hold We're up. good. 
We're good. Doug, just uh, parking, come on back. What was that guy's name that got hurt in Atlanta? Fell off the. Oh, uh, good one. Good one. Don't Patrick hey, Goodman. Don't get crushed by the Knight Riders. I'm all right. But he's in a wheelchair. He's okay. <laughs> I think we're good. Yeah. So let's let's do this. Let's get that back as far as we can. We can prop that up again with this. The board. Right. It looks like it's got to come back this way, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's got to come back a little bit. Because yeah, it, it, it's shifting around. Yeah. So yeah. Just, uh, Does this side oh, tip? Oh. Go ahead, Jimmy, a little bit. We need to bring the frame down. Oh, you want those, we can uh, handle that. The frame. Can you wiggle, wiggle that, that uh, track? There. I think okay. I think we're try putting it down. Let's see if we hit that pin. Uh, That's close. On. Stop. Go for it. Need me to roll this side? Yeah. yeah. Jimmy, you need to go more. Are, are, we, past, are we past the point where we can use the... I don't know. Probably. I don't, I don't know. I ain't gonna be able to download it. Stop right here. Keep going. Okay, we're gonna be hitting the uh, the upper we're gonna be hitting the upper shackles. So Oh, it's gotta come up higher. So yeah. That might be good, I think. Do that one will flop up a little. Okay. Get back to No one on my leg. <laughs> that blue part, is that plastic? No. What is it? Is it metal? Do you have any schmutz we can spray on there? Yeah, schmutz. Well, do we want some of this grease right here? Yeah, it, 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 anything. Uh, it's right over there uh, where the wood is. Hey, it's there for your first time. It's not bad, huh? Not bad. It's not in the whole way, but that's about all I can do. That's what she said. Oh, and we're going in? Oh. Alright, go ahead, Pat. I should have done a close up on this. Yeah, you want to do that real quick? That's alright. Play some slow music. <laughs> okay, Joe, uh, over here we got this plate in the way. You're going to have to pick up for oh, clear over yep. here. Yep. Okay, go ahead, Jimmy. Alright, Pat. All right, we're there. We're there. All right, uh, let's let let it down. Let it down. Well, remember, we can always sort of Say what? sway it like we did before. You good. Grease those holes? No, 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 we didn't grease I those holes. I greased them. He did. You did? Oh, yeah. All right. Keep going? Yep. Yeah. That, that side's on there. Uh, the, it had to come back, Joe. Just oh. use the wheels. There we go. All right, down, Pat. Oh, there it is. There you go. We're in. We're in. <laughs> Boy, that was a heck of a lot easier. Oh, beautiful. You want me to drop this all the way? That's a sound good. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. Yeah. Back on its wheels. Hang on. I got to go. Gross. Pretty 
Yeah. Yes, it does. It rims, obviously, but looks like we nailed the uh, angle there. Was that when they painted it for that movie in between? Yeah. Okay. But it's the best shot we have because we have a whole bunch of high res shots from the painting. That is so freaking cool. It does look neat. Look at all the where the. Uh huh. Oh, well, look at this. Looking. Come here. Look at this. Well, the crew has left, and here's the result. We got the axles back in underneath the semi, back to their original 1986 position. That was a lot of work. As you can see now, we have the space here to put the sleeper. Before, the axles were like right about here. Now we have the room, All right? So let's just take a minute and take a look. We still have to put the correct rims on, brand new tires, but that'll be later. This was a huge, huge step forward for us, as you can see. I had to take the taillights off to get the axles back in, so we'll get all that rewired and put back in, but yeah, we are. We got the intermediate shaft reconnected with the U-joints in, or I'm sorry, the U-bolts in to secure it. It's reverting back to its Knight Rider glory days. Let's see if we stand back here. There we go. You can see how much of a gap there is here now. So, huge, huge thanks to the Northeast Ohio Dukes, also known as Stunt Life, um, for coming out and spending a few hours helping me. There's no way I could have done this on my own. You know, you look at those axes and you think, ah, oh, you can just roll them, right? No, they weigh a ton. Plus, it, it was just a lot of work. Couldn't have done it without them. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. More coming soon on the semi. Now that the axles are back in, we have to connect the um, run new airlines and get the air tanks hooked up, get the taillights wired up. Um, and then, of course, we still have to work on paint and body. And then the last thing will be the sleeper. And we still have a little bit more work to do on in the interior as well. So, you know, there's... There's material for tons more videos on the semi-tractor, which um, you'll see soon. But making good progress, huge step forward today. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Here's, I'll leave you with uh, a nice little walk around here of the semi. As always, we appreciate you watching. And we'll catch you next time.